welcome to Insight Hub, the video series dedicated to the world of data and brought to you by Miracle's Data Practice. Hi, welcome to the Insight Hub brought to you by Miracle's Innovation Lab. My name is Sangeeta and I'll be talking to you about making machine learning highly available using ML on Android. One of the popular ways of using machine learning in devices like Raspberry Pi, Android or iOS smartphones and edge devices is using it in the form of APIs where models reside on server or cloud and the application on these edge devices uses APIs to interact and exchange the data. Though this is a great way of utilizing ML on edge devices Often, there are times when the network condition is poor or non-existent and hence models will be unavailable to users. The second biggest challenge is the security of the user's data. The data is passed on to models that are often on cloud and in this case, the sensitive user data is exposed to high risk. Efforts have been made to make ML on edge device more secure and highly available and to bring a seamless ML integration experience to the user by using the computing power of user's devices. In this video, I'll be talking about what is machine learning and then a bit about how machine learning can be used on edge devices by utilizing computing power available on the edge device without the internet. This video will also encompass several other services which will aid along with the machine learning to achieve a certain goal. In this video, we will also see how Android smartphone can be used to integrate on-device ML models to scan and read the receipt. Then, we will be walking through a detailed architecture of this Android application and a live demo will conclude this video. Overview of Machine Learning What is Machine Learning? Machine learning is one of the most exciting technologies that one would have ever come across. As it is evident from the name, it gives the computer which makes it more similar to humans, the ability to learn. Machine learning can be explained as automating and improving the learning process of computers based on their experiences without being actually programmed, that is, without any human assistance. The process starts with feeding good quality data and then training our machines by building machine learning models using the data and different algorithms. The choice of algorithms depends on what type of data do we have and what kind of task we are trying to automate. For instance, if we want to create a model that predicts the weather tomorrow based on meteorological information from the past few days, we would feed the model metrics such as temperature, humidity and precipitation. The output would be weather forecast for tomorrow. But we can't always assume the model is accurate. First, we must train the model. Training is a key concept and the process through which a model learns how to make sense of input data. Machine learning with Android. Now, when an ML model is run on an edge computing device, Without the need for an internet connection, it is termed as ML Edge. Efforts are made to place machine learning algorithms at the edge of the network. For example, the Internet of Things or Android smartphone devices in order to make ML available offline. Using intelligent edge technology can help maximize business efficiency. Instead of sending data out to a data center or other third party, analysis is performed at the location the data is generated. Not only does this mean this analysis can be performed more quickly, but it also increases, decreases the likelihood that the data will be intercepted or otherwise breached. The advantages of ML Edge are, it helps to avoid latency issue, it helps in reducing communication costs between servers, and finally, it avoids privacy and security concerns related to data. Now, we will be seeing a custom Android app with on-device machine learning experience. Overview of Android application 
Our Android application has all the latest feature to make the app look not only interesting but it also makes it very hands-on due to its seamless integration with ML models. It has auto crop functionality of receipt using OpenGL. A TensorFlow object detection ML model is used to detect date and total from receipt. The location is detected by this model is fed to Firebase OCR which extracts text from it. To recognize the store name of receipt and to identify the category, an image recognition ML model is used. All this information never leaves the device and it is stored offline, locally in an SQLite database for the user for future reference. Application Architecture The architecture is divided into three parts. First, Android OS. Second, on-device machine learning. And third, model retraining on cloud or servers. The receipt is captured on the device using camera and this image is cropped automatically by the app. Sometimes, if user feels the cropping is not as per the expectation, he can manually adjust the crop window. The next step is, this image is sent to our two ML models as a bitmap image. The first model is an object detection machine learning model, which is trained to identify the location of date and total on the receipt. Using these location coordinates, the bitmap is internally cropped and fed to Firebase OCR to convert image to text. To identify the store name and category of the receipt, the same bitmap image is fed to another ML model, which employs the image recognition technique and identifies store name from our list of labels. It takes less than two seconds to receive the output from these models as the models are on the device and there is no latency in communication. Both of these models are trained periodically and uploaded on servers. Android app on availability of network connection checks if new models are present on the server and if the model version is greater than the one on the device, it downloads it automatically. The data is always secure on user's device and it is exclusively handled offline. Now, benefits of this Android app. The Android application is easy to use. Once the user takes the picture of receipt, the app takes care of cropping and feeding to different models. The app has high availability even when in poor or non-existing network condition due to its on-device inference. Since all the models are on the device, there is no communication caused with the server nor there is a latency issue. The data is handled exclusively on the device, hence it's secure on the device. The receipts can be scanned and stored quickly for managing expenses before losing it or misplacing it. Now, let us dive into live demo of how machine learning could be used with Android smartphones to scan and read receipt using ML principle. On screen, you are able to see my application loaded into Android smartphone. Now, let us begin the process by pressing this capture button. Before I start the process, let me show you a few details on this receipt. The total here is $7.49 and the date is June 7, 2019 and a receipt belongs to Walmart. So all this information should be able to see on screen once machine learning processes the image. So now let us start the process of taking the picture. So you can see the application has identified the edges of the receipt and placed a boundary around it. So once I click on next, the image will be cropped according to the boundaries and it will be saved. And the saved image will be sent as a bitmap to machine learning models. So once I click on save, so the image was processed by machine learning models and we are able to see the category is food total is seven dollar 49 cents and the date is june 7 2019. so uh, our first receipt is successfully processed and scanned now once i click on save the data will be stored in our database the user's uh, sqlite database now i have another receipt 
as you can see on screen so here the total is $17.99 and the date is July 17, 2019 and this is a grocery store receipt so I should be able to get all this information once I take the picture and send it to the models so let us take the picture and see Again, the receipt has been perfectly identified and the edges have been uh, identified and a boundary is placed around it. Once I click on next, the receipt is automatically cropped by Android and I am able to see the cropped image. Once I click on save, the image will be sent as a bitmap to the models. Now you can see the category is again food. Total is $17.99 and the date is as it was shown on the receipt. So even in second use case, our application has worked perfectly. Now try another receipt. Here it is a bit confusing for us to identify where the total is because we can we do not see meant something mentioned as total. So model tries to identify or try to find a particular total string on the receipt. So here I don't see anything as much in detail. So let's see what happens in this case. Okay, so I did not focus my application exactly. So you can see the all the edges are identified correctly, but one of the edge is just misplaced. I think it is due to the flash, which uh, which which is on my blue blue background. So I have an option to just you know manually move it and place it properly. So this way, user has an option to manually adjust uh, any of the frames any of the edge however the user wants once I click on next and save so the total was not identified and date was also not identified properly so in this case I can just go ahead and put the total total so the total is let's say $11.40 and the date is Mm, let's say 10 1 2019 and click on save so the all the data are stored locally in users database and you as you can see there is no network connection to this particular uh, phone that means the all the models are residing locally offline on my device and I don't need any kind of network connection while I'm performing this machine learning operation, which is itself is a great advantage of using offline machine learning models. Thank you for watching our video. If you like it, please like and subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you never miss an update from Miracles Innovation Labs. Thank you for watching a video on Inside Hub, the video series brought to you by Miracles Data Practice. For more videos, please visit miraclesoft.com slash insighthub.